Good morning, everyone. I just want to echo the two statements that have already been made. We are thrilled to have not just you here, but so many of you. Uh, this is a topic, as Mark uh, noted, that has one of those ironic tensions. It's being used more and more, and yet it still has a lot of ambiguity about it. And so when I say I think the next two days are going to be very important, I'm not saying that just to you. I think we have the kind of people in this seminar that can really set a baseline for what should be the meaning of social impact and in a lot of different settings, okay? So that's the first point that I just wanted to reinforce that Mark already alluded to. I want to give a little bit of personal testimony. I am old enough to probably give more testimony about more things than I wish I could. But I was head of Catholic Charities from 1982 to 1992. It was a phenomenal period in the economic life of the United States. And for a humanitarian organization, it was terribly challenging. We had three and a half million clients in 1982 when I became the president. Three and a half million. We were still primarily a middle-class agency. 23% of our clients needed food or shelter. Within 10 years, we had 13 and a half million clients because of the economic dislocation of moving from a manufacturing economy to a service economy and all the people that didn't fit in. Now, that's kind of the backdrop for just two statements that I want to make while I'm with you. Uh, our mission during that period was to empower people to live more freely in spite of a difficult environment. Yet 65% of our 13 million clients were now needing food and shelter. At the same time, the United Way and some other funders, some foundations, changed the paradigm of being an agent of service to being more the agent to the donor, okay? That created a real problem for many of us because in being the agent for the donor, there was an incessant demand for measures. And I really pushed back hard. I was sort of anti-measurement because I kept thinking, what do you want me to measure? The nutrition in a meal? When people needed training, an opportunity for re-entry into the workforce? So I had a certain bias against measurements because of that. Secondly, in the United States, and I'm so glad there's somebody here from the United Kingdom. I know less about public policy in Italy. But in America, if you run a road building corporation and you get a government contract, you'll probably get funded at 105 or 110% because materials will go up over an 18 or 20 month period. If you have a nonprofit contract with the government, it will probably be 85 cents on the dollar because you get tax coverage. <coughs> and that 85 cents will be very program specific. So there won't be overhead money, infrastructure money, or mission driven money. And that's where measurement takes place. So there's a bias against measurement in the way nonprofit services are funded in the United States. That's not so in other places. There's a real movement under the rubric of social return on investment in the United Kingdom, although a lot of the planning for that came from San Francisco and some thinkers in San Francisco. But I went to a conference in London in 2009 called Social Return on Investment. The Czech Republic was represented, all the Scandinavian countries were represented, and it was really exciting to see the kind of variables they were assessing that could legitimately say you're not just impacting the client, but you're impacting the client and the universe and world of that client. The economy, marriage, uh, various aspects of the juvenile or uh, the justice and education systems, all of that pertains to the kind of outcomes that are not considered when you look at only specific measures that impact the client. So my hope today against that backdrop 
that real care will be given to separate social impact from just program outcome measures, and in a way that can be replicated and broaden the base of understanding. Secondly, I'm hoping that with the kind of diversity, the kind of, of already deep thinking that has taken place within the work of many of you, you will be able to broaden the base of viewing social impact beyond the role of client, as I've already said. The client lives in many universes, and each of those are impacted by the kind of service we bring to the table. That is my hope. I offer it as a way of welcoming you, and I'll just end with a little pun. I hope we have a great social impact at the end of two days. Welcome.